Having a charcuterie board is very trendy these days, and some restaurants in Paris do an excellent job at it, and some of them, not so much. And a charcuterie board is one of our favorite things to do to relax with a drink or to entertain with some friends. So in this video, we're gonna take you to three of our favorite places in Paris, one in Le Marais, one in Saint-Germain, and one right here by the Eiffel Tower. Allez, on y va. So today we're at Vino Sapien, which is literally blocks away from the Eiffel Tower. And this place is a cavist store or a wine store that also has some little bites. And of course today we're having the charcuterie. So we just got the mixed planche, which is meat and cheese together, and uh -huh. they add butter because in France the butter is absolutely amazing. These are all regional things. Uh, the owner of the shop was just explaining to us that the camembert came from Normandy, the goat cheese is just here from the Loire Valley, this is the, the Tombe de Savoie. This is a special salted butter from up by Calais, and these meats come from all around. We have a copa, a dried saucisson, we have some hams and French style chorizo. I always thought chorizo was Spanish, but this is French style chorizo and I can't wait to eat this stuff. Absolutely fresh, fabulous. Let's have a bite. He's showing me the text from this morning when he ordered the cheeses and meats. So everything came voilà. here this morning. Pretty amazing, absolutely authentic. Voilà. I can't wait to try it. Thanks, Godi from Brittany. Vous êtes de Brittany aussi? Oui, oui. oui. Ah bon. Brittany, Al Burgundy. Ah bon. This is why. It's a good oh, combination. Wow. It's the best combination. Oui. Allez, it's a good blend. Oui. Yeah, it's a good blend. That's Allez, go! Sure. Charcuterie literally means cold cuts or deli meats. I always thought it was a presentation style or the name of a dish, but it literally means deli meat. And so when you have a charcuterie board, it's normally just the meat. And this is a mixed planche because it has meat and cheese. And I'm ready to take a bite. One of the funny things that people do here is they put butter and cheese together. And we'll put just a little bit of the Tome de Savoie right here. Mm. Tome de Savoie is one of the cheeses they normally use in a fondue, so it has a little bit of a sharp flavor, but not too sharp. It's a little bit soft, and it's just, just right. So I'm gonna try uh, chorizo to start. Hmm. And what I love about this is it's not a huge board. You know, it's small. I mean, it's still got plenty of cheese and stuff, but that's, you can make a whole meal out of that. All this yummy stuff. I'm gonna have a little bit of jambon here. I love a good charcuterie board, and it makes such a difference when it's organic and it's fresh products. Some goat cheese on salted butter on poil and bread. This is it. I mean, you go spend the day on the Eiffel Tower, you go up, you're exhausted, you do the thing, you come here and you come and chill with a glass of wine and this, and this is just heaven. Oh, this is good. It's very good. This is some Normandy Camembert, and it must be awesome. You don't get anything fresher than that. That's just really good. And the bread came from the bakery Poilin, which is known for having fabulous bread. This is just yummy. That one is French chorizo, and I love how thin they slice it. It's just, it's basically a paprika sausage. And you know what it tastes like? It tastes like more. Mm. And you see that? You have the little peppercorns in here. That's a dried saucisson sausage, which is classic French. This is one of the things we miss when we're in the States is the saucisson. Mm -hmm. You can't get that in the U.S. You gotta come here. You can try, but that's good. And it goes perfect with wine. So when I first came to France, people told me, go buy your wine in a cavist. And I thought, that's gotta be really expensive. 
until I found out what a Cabus really is. Cabus is where you go to buy the wines from small vineyards that aren't big enough to do mass production like you would need to promise a grocery store or a different uh, larger wine store. But these Cabus know all the small vineyards, all the family owned vineyards, and they have amazing finds at amazing prices. Like the wine we're having today, you can get a little half bottle for 12 euros, but these are places to find a whole range of prices and qualities, but definitely gems in small and expensive wines. Do you have the ability to chill a white wine for a picnic? For sure, we have a chiller. Magic machine. So when you go to a cabist and you're a little intimidated, the best way to do it is to actually say, I'm looking for a white or for a red. I like my wine fruity or sweet, and that's my budget range. And the cabist is going to give you the best bottle for your money. So if all you want to spend is 20 or 30 bucks, they'll give you the best type of wine for that budget. And that takes all the pressure away. So we are in a restaurant called La Grande Crèmerie and we are in the heart of Saint-Germain. We are right off Rue de Bussy, which couldn't be any more centrally located in Saint-Germain. This is a fairly small restaurant. It has about 45 seats. It's very intimate and it's on the little side street, which I love in Paris because you're not on a big thoroughfare. You're in a little side street. La Grande Crèmerie is actually a full scale restaurant. They have charcuterie board and foie gras and pâté but you can make an entire meal here. So this place is amazing after a long day of sightseeing, of walking. If you're clocking your steps at about 20,000 steps, this is the restaurant to come to to have an amazing charcuterie board. We've been here before. We couldn't wait to come back. We're happy to be here and we can't wait to try some amazing charcuterie. Domaine Rago, 100% Pinot Noir, Burgundy. My, that's my favorite sound. All outside, main course, tapas. You can share everything. Most of the people, they share from the stracciatella until the foie gras, right. and they take more than main course from the beef tartar until the ravioli. To an amazing restaurant. I love this place. Cheese and charcuterie, courant du tar, goat cheese, comté, prosciutto di San Daniele, jambon serrano uh, from Spain, so Spain, Italy, France, France, and confiture de cerise, okay. cherry jam from Thos S. Here you have the Ramon, the best ham for me ever from Caceres in Spain. One of the things that makes a charcuterie board amazing is the quality of the meat and the cheese that they put on them. Check this out. Everything here is amazing. And that's nice, smooth chumpsteak. And this one is a goat cheese. Goat cheese can be strong, it can be grainy and gritty. This one is not. This is smooth, subtle, blends right in. This is definitely one of the top places in Paris to have a charcuterie board. There's something about a charcuterie board and a glass of red wine at the end of a long day that just is perfect. So that is the toasted bread, foie gras, and a little bit of fig jam. I dreamed about that foie gras when we <laughs> left last time. That's good. This is it. It just looks extraordinary. A little butter, bread and ham like that. This place knows how to do a charcuterie board. This is extraordinary. And this cheese looks like a brie with truffle. I can't say it's like butter because it's not that kind of a texture. It's just like melt in your mouth, cow's cheese with just deliciousness. Mm. And sometimes the truffle cheeses overpower the other flavors. It's there, it's subtle. Everything here, like, they all celebrate each other. Nothing overpowers. It's just a perfect combination of flavors. Oh, look at how whippy, creamy that mascarpone is. That is a whipped cloud pretending to be dessert. All right, my turn. Out. Can I get some? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just got it. <laughs> okay, let's just be clear on this. There's no we in this tiramisu. There's no such thing as we. This is my tiramisu. You're filming. Oh no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is amazing. No, 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 no. You're filming. Stop it, Colleen. I call the gendarme. I swear to God. And I'm not, I'm, I don't need time to check. There's no sharing in tiramisu. <laughs> there, is, there is an I in team. There's no you in tiramisu. <laughs> there is a me. Seriously. <laughs> what? What did you do? You ate half of it. No, I didn't. It's really rich and it's really amazing. That's an amazing way to finish the evening. It's a great, great end of a meal. So if you're like us and you like to make your own charcuterie board, check out Le Frenchie's charcuterie board right there and grab one for yourself before we completely run out. We are on Rue René Boulanger and it's right at the north end of the Marais. We're right between the Republic, Place de la Republic, and then over here you have the doors of Saint-Denis. We're um, right close to Gare de l'Est. And if you keep going on the other side of that, eventually you'll end up on the Grand Boulevards. So we have here our menu, cheese, ham, and sides. Oui. And you get to pick by just ticking the boxes. Okay. You just pick, and we advise okay. between three and five per person. Oui. All right. There you have the prices in the description. Bread will come with the board as much as you need. Okay, great. Perfect. Right. Thank Merci you. Merci bien. Thank you so much. Here we have the descriptions of the different cheeses. And obviously this is in French, but then back here, if you don't speak French, yeah. you scan this thing right here. Let me yeah. see. Okay, the Saint Nectaire, this rustic Auvergne cheese was Louis the 15th's favorite. Its irregular rind has a characteristic of earthy aroma and has soft, creamy texture. Well, that's nice. It gives you a description of all of them. I like truffle brie. I like country style pate. I'm gonna go with the onion jelly today. I'm gonna take a saucy sèche. What is amazing about this restaurant is they have four of them in Paris. So if this location is not convenient, you can go to the other three. And we're gonna put their address in the description below. Third, and then you take pâté de campagne, rillette, saucisse sèche, roblochon. So we have three cheese, three meat. We're in business. This looks awesome. Et voila. Fresh bread, quand I'm here. Brit truffle, homemade, roblochon from Savoy, very creamy. There you get the dry sausage, uh, onion chutney, onion, confit, onion chutney, oui, oui confit, oui. confit d'oignon, pickles, uh, rillette, ça c'est pâté de campagne. So the waiter just told me that this truffle brie cheese was made right here at the store. I'm excited to try it because I love truffle brie mm -hmm. and it doesn't get any more fresh than that. You're gonna love that. So this is a 16-month-old comté, which is not quite as sharp as a Parmesan, a lot more character than a Swiss, and maybe somewhere in between the two. Yeah, it has a little bit of texture, but it's not gritty like some can be. These are very subtle cheeses. It's a dried sausage. You, 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 know, you can think like pepperoni, but it's not spicy at all. It's just very good, flavorful, dried sausage. These are definitely good quality ingredients. I'm going to start with the pâté. And then I took as a side pickle, the French pickle, which is cornichon. And it's completely different than what you have in the US. In the US, they're dill pickle. They're actually huge. And here, they're tiny. So we'll have a pickle with some pâté or with some rillette or with some saucisson. It goes with all three of them. And you have a piece of pâté and a pickle. That's how we eat it. I love Roblochon. But then I, I need some butter, so I'm gonna get some salted butter. I know it may seem crazy to put butter in cheese, but that's really how we eat it. Mm. All right, so I'm having some rillette. We have it with a pickle. It's simple rillette, but for me, that's my childhood and it's delicious. It tastes like home. And a piece of bread, a baguette, rillette, and cornichon for me is, and a little bit of 
red wine. And this is it. Cheers, my darling. To another beautiful day in Paris. If you like this video, next I would watch this one about 10 things you need to know about restaurant etiquette in Paris.